I am the least useful part of this presentation, so I, I'm going to be brief, but I want to say how much I appreciate the participation of as many bishops and, and uh, uh, lawyers as we've got. Um, since 2002, when I was in Boston and things were blowing up there, the church has taken what I think are the right steps to address the sexual abuse crisis. It's been really painful and it's not over. Um, we'll continue to deal with the long-term effects for many years. Um, this panel emerged as a response to what I think is a very real need in our church. I, um, I had a conference of this kind back in 2003 at Boston College when it was just beginning and the first bankruptcy, diocesan bankruptcy had occurred. Um, since that time, we've had several dozen <clears throat> such cases, and as dioceses began to pay out large settlements to survivors, they also began to take, <clears throat> pardon me, furious, um, to face serious financial difficulties. At the same time, they have rightly worried <clears throat> about a fair distribution of their available assets to more than just the first few claimants who had the most assertive lawyers. When they face the possibility of declaring bankruptcy, bishops um, confront a situation that they really are not prepared to face. The process is a unique mix of really serious legal and canonical and pastoral issues. What we hope to do today is provide an opportunity for church leaders to talk with some legal and canonical experts about bankruptcy and, and offer the perspective of a bishop who's seen the process up close. The decision is complicated. It's not one we can resolve on the panel today, but we hope to give you some tools and connect you with resources to help guide you through the process. So let me let me thank Steve Payne, the Dean of the Columbus School of Law for putting this panel together. Thanks to Stephen White and Sarah Perler of the Catholic Project for their work. I think it's a real example of how laity and clergy can work together. I also wanna thank Professor Marie Riley of Penn State Law who is the expert on these issues for all of uh, that she has done to make this possible. She's really the brains behind this operation and Archbishop Hebda of St. Paul in Minneapolis and his lawyer, Brian Wenger, who will share their experience of the bankruptcy process in their archdiocese. And Bishop Robert Dealey, um, chairman of the USCCB's Committee on Canonical Affairs and Church Governance. So this is the first of what I hope will be a series of panels for our church leaders on a range of issues and, and let us know if you think they'd be helpful. But thank you again for joining us.